Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the mean for grouped frequency distributions. So we need to make sure it's in the right mode first. So mode and two for stats and one for one minus variable. Um, now we want to have a grouped frequency. So sometimes it might come up uh, just with one column. We need another column there. We need our f of x or our frequency as well. So to get our frequency, we press shift mode. We press down and now we want three for stats and frequency on or off, we press one for on. So now we have a table with two columns, we have X and we have frequency. So let's input some numbers. So let's say we have the number five equals. Now it automatically comes up as a frequency of one. So we'll put in the frequency now in a couple of minutes. Um, let's say we have the number two equals and let's say we have the number four equals. So I'm gonna keep it at these three numbers, so five, two, and four. Now to change the frequency, you just use your arrows to go across into the frequency column. So let's say the number five we have 10 times, press equals. Then let's say the number two we have three times, equals, and the number four we have uh, 12 times, equals. So that gives me the number five 10 times, the number two three times, and the number four 12 times. You press AC to clear it. Then it's the same as before. So shift stats. We want four for variables. And X bar number two is our mean. Equals. So the mean of those numbers that I typed in at the frequencies that I gave is 4.16. Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.